Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to week four. This is the week of your midterm exam. Um, so obviously, as you can tell, not only do you get my beautiful face, um, you're also looking at uh, my screen, which is showing you <clears throat> our Blackboard page. Um, and I wanted to talk briefly about this specifically today because it is week four and with things going on the way they are. So um, just wanted to let you know under course specific content, Underneath all of our OERs is also the analysis of a crime scene assignment sheet. Uh, the master sheet with the general layout and rubric is right here. Um, it's also will be attached lower on, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. Um, so week four. So notice weeks one, two, and three you, you've done. So at time of recording this, um, I will be grading your week three quizzes as soon as humanly possible so that you have that direct feedback so that when you go to do the midterm exam, you have that available to you. So <clears throat> week four, we're talking investigations. Um, and there's also analysis for crime scene and the midterm exam. I wanted to bring this up. Please note there are two folders for readings for this one. Uh, so we break down investigations into two sections, process and evidence slash type of evidence. So there's two sets of readings. Um, they're all covered under the same investigations PowerPoint, which is your notes. I am actually, I'm a little late recording the lecture video. I will be doing that after this. So it, that will be posted later today. Um, but additionally, here are additional investigation notes. These are things that I both took from the textbook and I wrote little notes for in regards to the actual lecture that I'm giving. <clears throat> I'm providing this to you so that you can also see what I'm talking about. So, uh, like I said, this is legitimately the whole thing that I typed up. So it has information. I'm going to be talking about this stuff, so you do at least have it available to you, um, so you don't necessarily have to write down everything, but this way you do have it. As always, the PowerPoint is there, but what I really want to talk about with this video in particular are these two things. Number one, your midterm exam is due next week, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday the 3rd of July, <clears throat> your midterm is due next week, Wednesday, by 11.59 p.m. That should be your top priority. You should work on that first. Like I said, I will be grading quiz three today at time of recording this, which is Wednesday. I will be grading quiz three so that you can work on the midterm exam. That is the prime important piece. To note, I said it before, the lecture from this week, from week four, none of this content is on the midterm exam, okay? The midterm exam is all stuff from the first three weeks. And so, like I said, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the midterm exam briefly. So here you go. There are 32 questions total. I broke it down into section. True and false. So you have true and false questions. You have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have multiple choice. You have fill in the blanks. You have short answer. You have matching. You have an essay. And there are five options for your essay, okay? Essay option one, two, three, four, and five, all right? And as always, there's a bonus. I'm telling you right now, your bonus, the usual Mr. Wheaton bonus points, the two bonus points for something you've learned from the first half of the class that's not on the exam, and another set of two points for something you learned that's not on the exam, that's four points there. There are six possible points where I'm asking you to discuss something
from the quiz it's, or from the exam itself that we didn't go super in depth on. Okay. Please, thirty-two questions doesn't seem like a lot, but there's a lot of content there. As I said, I didn't take. Well, I did. I took all the questions asked on all of the quizzes. Every question that's on a quiz is used on the test. However, I might have changed words and changed answers to those questions. So you need to be careful. Just because you're like, oh, yeah, I remember this question was false. I might have changed it to a true statement. You can't just go on autopilot. You actually have to read. OK, so that's the midterm exam. But the other thing that's this week, and this is due next Friday, is analysis of a crime scene. And so the analysis of a crime scene, 25 points. Um, I have the rubric and assignment sheet attached. I have the actual documents that you need for, for it and all the other additional information. So please note. I'm going to look at the assignment sheet and go over it with you, but everything that you need for this project is provided to you. Okay? There's no detail that's like not given. Every detail is available to you. You need to make sure that you are reading carefully. You are looking at everything and you are using your critical thinking skills to draw connections, okay? This will make more sense after we talk about investigations in the lecture, but I want to mention, if you have any questions about this assignment, please feel free to email me and I will help you. But note, and I put this in bold, I will not answer direct content questions as that would be giving you the answer. I will guide you in the right direction. So if you email me and say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I'll walk you through what you're supposed to do, but I will not tell you the answers, okay? All, all things are available. They're via the OneDrive or they're attached directly here. So there shouldn't be any problems, okay? The assignment sheet itself, because a good portion of policing is good note taking and attention to detail, this these little mini assignments are giving you a safe place to practice good note taking skills, critical analysis, coordinating several different points of data, and writing clearly and descriptive. Your assignment must be around one and a half to two pages in length minimum. You're writing a case report. <clears throat> it is a narrative of the facts of the case. You'll need to establish the crime scene, identify evidence, analyze witness statements, and determine a timeline of events as part of the development of the case report. Again, we're going to talk about these in the lecture, but these bullet points, these are all things that you have to answer in your case report who all were involved in the case what occurred at the scene when the crime took place where the evidence where the events transpired and how the crime occurred in addition you will also need to provide a concluding paragraph explaining why you believe that the things occurred the way that you wrote it you need to be able to not just put all these things in order the who what when where and how but I need you to tell me the why you believe that you're correct, okay? All of the questions above must be specific and detailed in the report. Vague and incomplete answers will re result in a loss of points. Like I said, every piece of information is provided to you, okay? The assignment itself is worth 25 points. These cases have one correct answer. Students must work through the provided information to determine what that correct answer is. Grading rubric, accuracy, length, slash completion, detailed, and grammar and spelling. Grammar and spelling matter. They do matter, so you're going to have to make it fairly free from errors. Detailed, it can't just be a list of things. You have to be descriptive. 
if it makes the required lengths and you talk about all five W's and the one H, yeah, you're gonna you hit that completion and accuracy. You accurately pull the correct details. Hear me as I say that. You accurately pull the correct details. That means that there are some extra details that are not necessary. They are there to throw you off. They are intended to make you think, okay? Just giving you that heads up now. All right. Legitimately, that's it. That's it for this week. So really, we're going to talk about investigations. You'll see me in that lecture. Well, you won't see me, but you'll hear me in that lecture video. We'll talk investigations. We'll talk about those specifics. And you'll want to take that information and use it for the analysis of a crime scene. Okay, but I want that to be your secondary focus. Your primary focus should be the midterm exam. Please dedicate your time to that first, simply because none of what we talk about this week is on the exam. Okay, none of investigations other than what we talked about last week is on the exam. Okay, so do the exam first. Get that out of the way and then work into investigations. I don't want you to try adding extra knowledge that you don't need for the exam just for the sake of having it. If you want, that's fine, but I'm telling you best practice would be to go straight into the exam uh, when you feel confident. Like I said, I'm going to be grading your quiz three, so you might want to wait until you get feedback from quiz three to do it, uh, which would be ideally by the end of today, Wednesday, or tomorrow, Thursday. So uh, that's what I have to say. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you in the lecture video, and good luck on the midterm exam. Take your time. It is not timed, but take your time.